All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're finally here for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I know it's been ages ever since the last video. A lot of you guys have been waiting and asking, where's all the Xenoverse 2 content at? Well, starting today, we're bringing it back. I know I've missed a bunch of mods. I believe I still have mods to cover that go all the way back to 2022. How insane is that? <laughs> I'm far behind, but it is what it is because I'm going to try my best to showcase all of them here soon. Today, we have a very strong mod created by Man Q. I'll be sure to have everybody linked down below in the description. We have a brand new superhero pack with Piccolo and Gohan. So this is very interesting because both mods use the Hero of Justice DLC assets to make them fully transformable. So Gohan starts off in his base form. He'll then transform into Super Saiyan, Potential Unleashed, and then Beast. And Piccolo, of course, base, power awakening, and his orange form. We also have some new attacks. I believe Gohan has a super version of Super Kamehameha. There it is. We also have Super Masenko as an ultimate and a new, or the all new attacks, but the third new move is Rageful Special Beam Cannon. And when we transform into Beast, I believe it'll change to the DLC 16 special beast cannon, right? Massive thanks to all the other modders who contributed to this mod. We have Crystal for the Dragon Ball Legends assets, Genic for the revamp patch, and the revamp team for the revamp assets. You can already tell uh, the hair right there is from the revamp team. Pretty cool stuff. I think this Piccolo, his base model is new as well. Pretty awesome. So. Let's just do this quick comparison. Yeah, very different. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this one right here is way better in my personal opinion. So without further ado, please make sure to drop a like on today's video. I'll greatly appreciate it. And let's hop straight into the showcase. Mark, the Red Ribbon Army? Starting things off as Piccolo, then we're going to move up to Gohan. I'm looking forward to this, man. I haven't done a Xenoverse 2 modded showcase in forever. We have an awesome modded DLC pack. And now that I'm playing as a character, I think this is Power Awakening Piccolo, but in his base form. You can kind of tell by the added textures to the arms right here. Because obviously in Power Awakening, he doesn't have that anymore. Uh, the neck is not as large as Power Awakening Piccolo. So he did modify the model a bit to match, you know, base piccolo over here yo no wonder this model looked a bit better than the og piccolo model because in my personal opinion the doc character models are far superior to the original xenoverse 2 vanilla models right so let's just go ahead and start things off with the move sets and oh wait is this new oh i think this is yeah also from power awakening piccolo that definitely makes sense because we do have the model <laughs> let's go ahead and use the triangle combo i do remember this it's been a long time ever since i played xenoverse 2 so i kind of forgot everything uh but we do have the grab as well heavy into lights oh oh as for the skill sets evil eyes oh we also have demonic destruction Oh, all right. So the skill set is a combination for all three of Piccolo's transformations or forms. Base, Power Awakening, and Orange. That makes sense to me. All right. So now I, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> Special Beam Cannon. Oh, it's Orange. Wait, 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 wait. So I do know that the original DLC Power Awakening Piccolo has Special Beam Cannon as well. But is it Orange? I can't remember. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's definitely not orange because if it was, I would have remembered. Yeah, that's awesome how Man Q decided to change that. <laughs> Made it a little bit more accurate to the movie. Let's go. Oh, and I still like how it's a super attack. Demonic destruction, we already know, but I'm just going to use it just in case, you know, because it might have changed. Not too sure. Uh, there it is. Maximum charge. Super explosive wave. Full Awakening. All right, so we got a name change right there. Uh, apocalyptic Explosion. Oh, that's new. Or is it? Huh. I think that's just a name change as well. Yeah, this is the Explosive Demon Wave. Overpower Awakening Piccolo. And Light Grenade as well. Hey! 
I think the camera angle has been changed. <laughs> Not too sure, man. Comment down below. But so far, so cool. Just a mixture of modded textures and DLC supers and ultimates all under one piccolo. Uh, let's go ahead and transform for the very first time. I'm ready for this. Oh, nice. Nice. Yo, we got the animation directly from the movie. Hey, did you guys see the model change? Yeah, there it is. No way. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the original uh, neck size and the textures are now gone. That is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and transform again. We got the arm pose. We got the stance. We got everything. So, of course, this is the original DLC character, but just with you know the added transformation really do like the new animation though have to check that out for the one time but up in the air just to make things cannon out here <laughs> hey let's go all right so let's check out the uh skill set um wait how do we oh my gosh it's been forever i kind of forgot how to play <laughs> i didn't even know how to pop up the super attack skill set anyway uh evil eyes yeah the skill set is the same there it is, orange special beam cannon over power awakening piccolo. Perfect. Uh, the moveset, is that still the same? Oh, it seems to be a lot faster. Or is that just me? I think that's just me. Here's the heavy combo. Yep, same thing. Oh, yo, the aura changed as well. Look at that. We have the golden aura, of course, because it's from the character. But if we use this ultimate in our base form, then it will be a uh, purple aura. Hurt. Attention to detail right there. I appreciate that. As for the final move, apocalyptic explosion. Oh, what's the original name? Apocalyptic burst, right? Perish. <laughs> All right, now... For the moment of truth, the orange Piccolo transformation. I've been waiting for an orange transformation. I don't think we have one just yet. For Piccolo, at least. You know, that's accurate to the movie. So, I, this is my first time witnessing this. Sorry. Oh, no way. Ready? No way. I like how fast it is just to keep the pace going. <laughs> he also said something after he transformed. All right, cool. So it seems like his moveset did change, I think. Oh, no. All right. So it's the same. It's the same. No, it's it did. It's different. Yeah, it's different. All right. So it is Orange Piccolo's moveset. That's awesome. So Base Piccolo and Power Awakening Piccolo share the moveset. But when we transform into Orange Piccolo, that's when we get his original one, right? Uh, what about the skill set? Yeah, skill set is still the same, which is totally fine. I think that's the best way to go about that. You know, all the different and unique skills under one. Uh, just to make it a bit easier. Uh, but let's go ahead and use the triangle into square combo. I believe this is the one where he does the, yeah, explosion at the end right there. The evasive, oh, light grenade for the one time. Apocalyptic burst, I believe it should be this time around. And it is! Perfect, perfect! Yo, this mod is extremely well made. You can tell there's been a lot of time and effort that's been put into this. The orange special beam cannon and the transformations are definitely the coolest part of this mod. At least for me, just the highlights. Uh, let's go ahead and transform again. We get the angles as well. <laughs> and when we revert, we go all the way back to our base form. Ah, so awesome. Really like how smooth the animations are. So this is how it starts off. Very accurate to the movie. We have the Shenron tree. Wait a minute. Is this logo there for base and power awakening? I don't think so. I'm going to have to revert back to my base form just to... Just to see. Really do like the pose, though. Wait, does he do this in a movie? Look at that. No way. <laughs> All right. 
So far, the best orange Piccolo transformation. Ready? And of course, the voice audio. Uh, yeah, so the symbol tree, or the tree symbol, it's not there. Nice, attention to detail once again. Sorry, you ready? You can even hear the sound design when the symbol appears, right? Yeah, very awesome mod. Really like how we can now transform. We have a transformable Piccolo. Great stuff. Let's go ahead and showcase Beast Gohan. Real quick, I'm going to showcase the three different presets. I forgot to do this at the start of the video, but we have the superhero outfit for preset one. Preset two is the original Turtle Hermit's Gi from Ultimate Gohan, but I believe this is the one by the revamped team. And last one, we have the Great Salmon outfit so let's just go ahead and fight ultra instant goku comment down below who do you think is stronger i am ready for this so we do have three super attacks for gohan a super version of super kamehameha an ultimate version of super masenko and rageful special beast cannon look at that the revamp hair asset as well all right let's just go over the moveset first Oh my gosh, I can't even grab. Nope. <laughs> Man, I, I was supposed to pick Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. I won't let you get away with this any longer. Take two. My knowledge for Xenoverse 2 just completely left, but it's fine. Start things off with the grab. We have Dragon Throw. Nice. The square combo string. Yeah, it's going to be the same as original DBS Superhero Gohan. You know, makes this feel even more official in a way. Let's go ahead and cover the skill set. We have Demon Flurry. Oh, yeah. So something similar to Piccolo where we have, you know, a combination of Super Saiyan, Potential Unleash, Base, and Beast Gohan attacks under the same preset. Uh, let's try to go ahead and connect all of these for the one time. Yo, first try. Shoyuken. We got the Beast Uppercut. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I dropped it right there, but it's fine. <laughs> we did it the first time around. Um, we got the charge technique. Keep it Ultimate charge. Ooh, yo. Same pose as Surging Spirits. That's how you know a character is extremely strong. If they have the same pose as Ultra Instant Goku or Beast Gohan when they're charging, then they're just extremely overpowered. <laughs> Um, Super Kamehameha. Oh! No way! Wait a minute. This is... Oh, yeah. The description did say that this is from Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan. Specifically from Urukai Tengachi 3. <laughs> I low-key forgot about that. But this first reminded me of... I can't remember the name of the technique, but he used it against Cell. When Cell was about to destroy planet Earth. And Gohan was just standing there charging the Kamehameha technique without moving. And then last second, he launches the actual blast. That's what this is from. Look at that. No way. Hands down, the coolest Super Kamehameha modded skill for sure. Ooh, impatient scream. Oh, interesting. As for Super Masenko, this is probably going to be cool. Let's go! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he also screams Masenko. Really do like how the camera panels around the character as well. <laughs> Look at that! Hey, and then... At the very last second, the camera focuses on the actual Masenko blast, right? There, you see how it zooms up. Next, we have... Hmm... Rageful Special Beam Cannon, all right? Oh! Sign of Awakening! Perf... Oh! Oh! No way! <laughs> Yo, the modders, they're keeping up with the tradition. So obviously we have Sign of Awakening where Goku utilizes the Kamehameha Blast. And then, I forgot who created it, but someone created a Sign of Awakening version for Vegeta. So after the multiple consecutive punches, he uses Final Flash. Now, Man Q created one for Gohan <laughs> where he uses... <laughs> special beam cannon no way that's cool 
Now we have one for all three characters. Now, now I have to see one for Broly. <laughs> all right, we have to see one for every single character now. Now we have the Beast transformation or the Super Saiyan transformation. He's probably going to remove his glasses for the animation. Let's check this out for the one time. Oh, whoa, whoa, yo. All right, so first off, the animation was awesome, top-notch, glorious for sure, but the revamp hairstyle. I don't think I've seen this one before. I mean, I do know that the revamp team updated Beast Gohan with the Beast Axe from Fortnite. I don't think I ever showcased that mod either, uh, so this is probably where that's coming from. Uh, but just the vibrant color scheme to the outfit. <laughs> yeah, I really do like the glow when the characters transform into, you know, Super Saiyan or whatever. Pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and use that one more time. So he removes... No, first he charges, then he removes the glasses. Too cool, too cool. I'm assuming the moveset is going to be the same as well. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. All right, we have to utilize all the super attacks. Y'all already know. First try once again under the Super Saiyan transformation. That's even cooler now. You know, Gohan using that technique in the Super Saiyan states. Rageful special beam cannon. We still have the beast highlights to it as well i really do like the transition i don't think i mentioned that just yet but the transition is extremely smooth we get this cool flash of lights and it's just perfect uh super masenko yo now now this is super masenko since we're transformed and i think it's about that time for potential unleashed <laughs> Awesome! So once again, they're utilizing the actual DLC assets, and I think the hair is the same as Super Saiyan, just, you know, uh, with a different look to it. Yeah, great stuff. <laughs> great stuff. I just really like how official this looks, you know, utilizing the different assets from mods and the actual DLCs, just creating the complete definitive edition of Gohan and Piccolo. <laughs> Yo, that makes sense for Potential Unleashed Gohan just because he has Super Dragon Flight as well. And he kind of does that at the end of Demon Flurry. Um, we have the Charge Technique, Super Kamehameha once again. And then the Ultimates. I don't think I went over the moveset. Wait. Alright, so the moveset is still the same. It matches Base and Super Saiyan. Uh, again, I want to know if it's going to change for his Beast transformation. It did it for Orange Piccolo. We have the grab, and the two ultimates! Oh yeah, we also have the second variation of... Rageful Special Beam Cannon. Hey, that was cool. Oh, I didn't get to use it that time around. My bad, my bad. Alright. Now it's time for the Beast Transformation. Alright, we have to go through all of them first. <laughs> Y'all already know. Potential Unleashed for the moment of truth. Beast Gohan. Is this going to be something similar to the movie? Oh, it is. Hey. I guess it's my turn. He says the thing. He says the thing. <laughs> Look, we have the... No way. What? The purple outline around the character. All right, so we have the original pose right there. Yo, my man's a menace out here. Look at the revamp hairstyle. What? This is crazy. Really do like the glow that's going on right now. <laughs> All right, too cool, too cool. One more time, one more time. Wait, can we spam the transformations? We can. Okay, then. Guess it's my turn. So, of course, that's the Awoken animation from the CAC skill, I think. Definitely... One of the best Beast Gohan mods out there, just because we have all of the different forms. 
all of the unique and iconic skills for each of the transformations. Rageful Special Beam Cannon should now be the Special Beast Cannon. Yup! Yup! <laughs> really do like how they changed that for this form. Super Masenko. Alright, that's the same. And... Impatient Scream. Oh, nice! We got the evasive move from UI Goku. What is it called? Celestial Wave. Of course, the beast version of it. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and use everything else just for the one time. Super Kamehameha. No way! No way! If Beast Gohan were to use the Kamehameha technique, it would be this right here. I mean, it has to be. I, that It makes sense to me why Q decided to create this for this specific build of the different variations of Gohan. I think it's a great mod. Comment down below what you guys think. Alright, so as for the actual movesets, and there it is. Yep, I kind of expected as much, but it goes back to the original Beast Gohan combos. This is it from me. Of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. I'll greatly appreciate it. Also, comment down below what you guys think about this new transforming Gohan. He has all of his forms from the movie. This is, once again, the definitive edition of Superhero Gohan.